And just a few days ago, we ran into some water, some rain, and it came down like crazy. But we also found another leak in the bus, and that's not cool. So I got on a forum, a school bus forum, schoolie.net, and uh, picked some brains there. And somebody said that, well, if it's got those lights on it still, that's probably where it's coming from. So, you know, why didn't I think of that, right? Um, it had, had the, you could see right on top of those, it had some bezels and those were taken off by the previous owner. There was screw holes there, so I put little dabs of silicone on those screw holes, thinking, well, you know, that probably, if there's water coming in, that's probably where it's coming from. I didn't even think about those lights though, so let's take those off and see, uh, see what's going on. So you see those holes uh, where this bezel was that I was talking about? Basically, it was just a, you know, a little shade protector or, or a fancy deal that was on top of those lights, but man, I, I guarantee you that's where this thing's leaking. There's a gasket right back here, if you can see on that. I mean, the, the light isn't even screwed to it, and uh, the gasket is just junk. It is, it's also missing a screw right there, so you know, that's a good spot for that water to be leaking right in there. So let's go ahead and take these off and uh, see what's behind there. Honestly, I was not expecting this big of a hole to be in here. That's exactly where the water is coming from. Right here, you could tell that water's just been leaking in here like crazy. You even look inside and the insulation just looks gross. Hey. It's my trusty assistant. Our best option on these is just to eliminate the lights. So I think what I'm gonna do, just cut both wires and uh, tape them up although I don't have them hooked up to anything inside because whenever we were building the bus I did eliminate a lot of those wires and uh, switches anything that you know was old bus stuff like the stop sign and these lights here just the, all the emergency flashing system because we weren't using that pretty sure in some states you have to eliminate the school bus stuff so people are fully aware that it's not a school bus and that it's definitely a cool bus a cool bus all right, Ashley and I got all of these lights pulled out. Next step is we've got a piece of cardboard. We're gonna make a template out of that, and that way we can go to town and have uh, our local machine shop buddy shear off a couple pieces of sheet metal for us, and uh, we can cap these holes. The sealant that I'm going to use for this is not a regular caulking or silicone. It's called Volcom 116. This stuff, it basically lasts forever. It it never hardens up. It kind of stays, you know, pliable or malleable, um, almost like a rubberized coating. But it seals. It doesn't crack. It's really good stuff. <laughs> 